So, zombies everywhere. What do you do? How do you protect yourself? If you're in ancient Scandinavia, you use runestones that are meant to keep the dead in their graves. Also, in Iceland, there are spells to keep the dead dead, but there's also spells to wake them up. So if you decide you want to create a zombie because you want a slightly shuffly, undead, stinky pal, in Iceland, this is how you would do it. You would shout poetry at the grave, which I kind of love. To me or not to me! <laughs> I can't think of any other poetry. You also walk around the churchyard and then you spit on the grave. So essentially, I'm guessing this kind of spell is annoying the dead back alive. But that's not all. Once the dead have been reanimated and taken out of their grave, in Iceland, you are supposed to lick the fluid that comes out of their nose and their mouth. What? You are essentially supposed to lick them clean, and that's what tames them to your purpose. You know what? I'd rather get a puppy. That is so gross. Ah! Even 10,000 years ago in Syria, the bodies were buried with the head attached, and then a few days later you would chop off the head and remove it, and bury it somewhere else. And this was one more way to stop the revenant, or the zombie, from coming out of the ground and coming back to the living. This is serious business. And not very hygienic. In ancient Greece, they used millstones to weigh down the body, or they would bury them face down if they thought they were in danger of coming back from the dead. There's a 12th century village in North Yorkshire called Warren Percy. And in this village, over about 100 years, the bones were buried outside the churchyard, which is unusual. There were about 137 bones belonging to a minimum of 10 people. Their skulls had burn marks, and then the bones of their upper body had cut marks in them. And this was believed to keep the dead from rising. So there was something about these people specifically that made the villagers fear they would return. If you want to protect yourself in Turkey, it's fairly easy. Don't chew gum after dark, because chewing gum after dark apparently resembles human flesh and will turn you into a zombie for the night. So remember, don't annoy the dead, and don't chew gum after dark. And you should be okay.